Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? Me, Proto Buffer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use saves for your platform. First thing you're going to want to do is find a save that you want to download. For example, we're going to use my personal save pack, Project 2. So, let's go ahead and start with a Borderlands 3 saves, and let's grab a PC save to start with. We'll go ahead and grab an Iridium Dropper from slot 2. Go ahead and click download and now you have a download and if you're not looking for bc saves however you can just come back and download the save you want so let's say you accidentally grabbed the pc save now we can grab the decrypted ps4 save instead and download that maybe you have save wizard instead you can go ahead and just grab the ps4 file as it will have the fully built save that you can resign to your account however you will have to know your trusa version when downloading one important thing that you want to make sure is that your slots do not overwrite so i do have a list of all the slots being used so you can make sure you will not overwrite any saves and you will know what every save can do. So to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the file explorer and go to our downloads. Now we're going to copy our PC save. So we're just going to go ahead and no, we'll click it, right click it, go down to copy. And now we're going to move it into the save file location. So next you want to go to documents my games borderlands 3 saved saved games and your user id now you can just right click and paste if you uh, if you already have a save there however it will ask you to overwrite so i just renaming the save before you copy it so this is assuming you already have your account activated to the save wizard so all you'll have to do is go to a resign, import, go to your downloads, click your game, select your character. So we're just grabbing a two and then selecting our profile and applying. Once save wizard's done resigning your save, go ahead, go to settings, go down to application save data management. Save data on USB storage device, copy to system storage, and copy the save to system storage. And for a PS5, it's pretty much the same thing here. Just go ahead, go to your settings, scroll down to a save data and game app settings, go to save data PS4, USB drive, and copy it to your console. Now, to use the decrypted PS4 save, you're going to want to go to your exploited console. So you're going to need a 7.55 or lower. For this, I'll be using a 6.72. Go to a user's guide. Select your exploit version. And start with bin loader. On your own PC, you can go ahead and send payload and connect. While you're here, click setup and get games as well. Back on the PS4, back out of bin loader and select FTP. And once you're back on PC, go ahead and connect to your FTP server via FileZilla or Windows Explorer or whatever FTP server you prefer to use. Depending on if you're using the FTP itself or Golden to use FTP, the port number will change as well as the exploit the port values will change there too. For this example, we're going to go to uh, CUSA 7823 and going to go ahead and go to save 2 since we already have that. All we're going to be doing here is replacing the save. However, I will be showing you how to create a new save here in just a second. So, go to no, PFS save and here's where we're going to be replacing the save so go ahead go back to downloads and copy that and overwrite so 
So make sure that there is no queued files or else whenever you unmount, if there's a queued file, your save will get corrupt. You'll know if it's corrupt if whenever you unmount, it will not go away from the TFS folder. Now I'm going to show you how to change a slot of a save real quick. So what you would do is grab the SE sys folder, copy it back to your console, go to the param SFO, open that up. Scroll down to 9F8 on the X chart and change this value to whatever you want. So here we're going to change it to 69 and save it. If you want, you can change the description of the save whenever you go to copy it right here. That way you'll know it is a different save. So after you save, normally there'll be a back file. Go ahead and delete the dot back file or else it will say that your save is corrupt. So when we finish that, we're going to go ahead and create a new save. I use 11 megabytes for my save size on Borderlands 3, 2, pre-sequel, and 1. So we'll be making save 69. So type in save 69 at max size, 11 megabytes, and create save. Go ahead and hit search one more time and scroll down to save 69. Mount. Go back to a PFS, click F5 to refresh the page. Go back to 69. You're going to take your file to rename it to 69. And now we're going to copy the SESS and the save full together and replace them via FTP. So once everything's finished up down here, you can unmount and now you have the save two in slot 69. One important thing though, whenever you are changing the slot, is where the decimal point is not equal to zero zero. So if you try and just put save six from 69, you'll see that it writes a two E here. So you'll need to replace this two E with zero zero in order for it to save properly. Oh, anyway, thank you for uh, watching. Do not hit that subscribe button. Don't do it. Do not do it. Or hit the like button. Don't do that either. Hit the dislike button. I can't even see it. Like, oh, you can't see it. I can see it. I'll know you disliked it.